How's that? <laughs> yeah, I was messing around with some of the sound stuff here because we were trying to get LQ's mic working. So um, how about now? Are we working now? I take it the music was working earlier. See, what do I say? It's one of my taglines. It's always something. They're saying they can't hear me. No. Yeah, I've got no updates so far from anyone. I know there's usually like a 30 second lag, but. Uh... Ah, see, they can hear. They can hear me. Good. All right. So that, that was a quick fix. Thanks for. Hello, <laughs> everybody. LQ is here. Thanks, LQ, for Hello, being here. Well, well, let's let's start this all over again, shall we? Hey, welcome everybody to uh, Crack and Wax. Uh, what's cracking, everybody? My name's Christopher. I am your break host and resident wax cracker. Uh, off in the distance is uh, the sorter extraordinaire, the beautiful literal quirk, LQ for short. Thanks for being here, my love. Um, so yes, let's start this all over again. Uh, if you're watching us from YouTube, uh, please uh, give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying what you're seeing here. And all, as always, comment in the uh, comments below. Let us know what you thought the hit of the day was uh, between both breaks. Of course, we've got a full case of 2019 Tops Heritage that we're going to be doing Pick Your Team later on at 5 p.m. Central or a little bit later, depending on how long this takes. We're going to be doing a half case of the same product. That's all random team. Both breaks are completely filled. So no worries there, uh, not trying to sell any spots right now. And of course, since we did fill the half case random, we are gonna be giving someone a free box, or a free, I should say, autographed baseball is in one of those boxes, so. All right, so what I was doing is I was just describing Breaker Battle. We have brought that back for the day, uh, and we've, we've revamped the rules. It's a lot easier and a lot more fun to play. And basically what it is, is your goal is to become the final Breaker Battle champion of the day. And the way you do that is first you got to knock me off my throne. Right now I have 1,000 hit points. To do some damage to me, to take away some of my hit points, all you need to do is either subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you haven't done that already, please hit the subscribe button. That does 50 points of hit point damage. Uh, and donating $1 will take away 100 of my hit points. To vanquish me, a total of 1,000 hit points across the board from everyone. This isn't just on one person. Uh, between all of you will need to be done to vanquish me, to uh, relinquish my reign, as it were, of Crack and Wax champion. The person that knocks me off will be the level one champion, and we just keep going and going and going until the end of the day. Depending on what level we're at will determine what prize you get. So if the f final breaker, cha breaker battle champion uh, is in level two or level three, so you would start out with 2,000 or 3,000 hit points, you would... If you're the final champion at that, at that point, would win a free box break entry ticket. Levels four and five, if you end up there instead, you would get a, uh, a guaranteed spot in our next free box break. Level six and seven, if you are the final champion there, so if you start with 7,000 or 8,000 hit points, you would win a free crack and wax hat. I'll take down the chat room so everyone can see what one of the, our hats looks like. There's the black and silver version back there to the right. If you end up, uh, well, I think I got my levels wrong. Imagine that. So it was six and seven, there we go. Level six and seven gets the hat. Eight or nine gets another one of these baseballs. So if you've got 8,000 or 9,000 hit points. And then level 10, if someone ends the night as uh, Breaker Battle Champion on level 10 or more, so if you start with 10,000 hit points or more, you will win a full box, sealed, fresh hobby box of 2019 Tops Heritage. So like I said, $1 equals 100 hit points in damage. Subscribing to our YouTube channel, 50 points in hit point damage. That's all it takes. So I, I've got a feeling that we're going to be rolling through uh, the levels pretty fast. Now, the other cool thing here is that current champions can heal themselves by tipping. So if someone donates a buck and they take away 100 hit points and you want to heal yourself and you're the champion, just donate a buck. There you go. I'm going to quickly post that link in our chat room for those who are not in the chat room and you're in our breakers room the live break room in youtube it's also in the description box below the link is right there so i think we're gonna have a lot of fun 
prizes are involved and they're a lot better prizes than last time where my prize was like a couple packs of cards no we're we want to give away this stuff so it's either going to be a free box break entry ticket a free box break guaranteed spot one of our crack and wax hats a autographed baseball or one of the sealed boxes from one of our cases here of 2019 tops heritage all right everybody we're going to do a little bit of education on this particular product as you know there are going to be quite a few variations and that's typical of tops heritage um the variations a little a little harder to pull a little easier to see though this time around which is great so what they've started to do, and they did this last year, is on the back of the cards, they started to call out what the variations are, and I love that. And it's usually under the card number. So some of the variations that you can find, I'm kind of scrolling here, uh, include nickname variations, French text parallels, which are 1 in 164 total packs. The action photo variation is 1 in 41 hobby packs, so... Being that there are about 280 uh, or so packs in a case, we're sure to find a few action variations. Uh, that's hobby only. Team color variations, we might find one in, in one of our cases. So that's one in 245 hobby packs. The uh, nickname variations are a little harder. We probably won't find those. The traded variations have the same odds, one in every 2,288 hobby packs, so that's about one in every 10 cases. The hardest ones to find will be the throwback variations. That ends up being one in about every 37 cases or so. So there's a there's a good possibility we're not going to see any of the throwback variations. And if we do, I would consider, personally, I would consider that a hit if we find one, so... So that's our that's our little education on the variations today. Of course, there are the base variation or not variations, uh, short prints, which run from card numbers 401 through 500. So of course, we will be seeing those quite a bit today as well. All right, LQ, I think we should move along to our first break. But before we do that, we want to throw a special shout out and happy birthday to our nephew Chase. Today is his ninth birthday. I know they're out uh, having a good time at uh, the Dell. So happy birthday, Chaser. Happy birthday, Chase. We love you. And Chase, as always, keep cracking that wax, buddy. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to bring up the team board. And this is the first break of the day. This is the full 2019 Topps Heritage uh, Pick Your Team case. And as you can see, all the teams were picked and filled up last night. And we got a lot of new people in this break too. So I, I love seeing the new names. 12 boxes per case. You know, I looked uh, for retail and of course, in our neck of the woods, and you've heard me say this on Twitter and Facebook and everywhere else, uh, we just have a heck of a time finding retail on release week. And of course there are no re retail heritage boxes or packs or anything anywhere out here that I could I could see at least up where we live all right see you later Scott thanks for joining us all right there we go full case all right so that's 24 packs per box 12 boxes per case nine cards per pack more than 2,000 trading cards to pull in this particular break. Here's our first box. Mike Trout on the front. Take down the team board so we can see what's going on. I'll just bring that back up anytime that we pull a hit or anything fun like that. A real one autograph or relic card in every box. I'm expecting to pull two, maybe three autographs total out of our case. We're going to start with our box topper. This is a 50th anniversary 1970 original card inside, and I'm sure it's stamped as always. And we have Alex Johnson for the Reds. There's your first card to sort LQ. Thank you very much. Now, it's kind of funny. We were trying to figure out... Uh, how to fix LQ's mic situation. It's really more my mic situation because I use a USB mic and her mic is a lapel mic that goes directly into the, uh, the the mic jack. So there's a little bit of latency 
and we accidentally streamed for like 11 seconds. <laughs> Luke T, what's going on, sir? All right, our very first official pack of 2019 Tops Heritage. We start with Andralton Simmons. That's what the backs look like. Of course, this is a very, very good recreation of the 1970s. And of course, we're just gonna kind of go through pretty quickly. There's a Mike Trout New Age Performers. That's what they look like on the back. Tim, what's going on, sir? Mookie Bats, Sporting News. So we'll go through these kind of quickly, but if I happen to see any uh, variations or anything of note, we'll stop on that and kind of look over those. New Age Performers of Jose Ramirez. The variations and short prints and stuff like that, they'll fall in the middle of the packs. They may or may not be easy to spot. Uh, this is a charity break. Thanks for bringing that up. So uh, we did uh, raise some, some money uh, through this. Of course, all of our breaks are charity breaks. Every single one this year in 2019 is a charity break. This year we are benefit this year this month of march we're benefiting saint baldrick's and just through these breaks for today we've raised something like 160 150 or 160 bucks already guaranteed to go to saint baldrick's and we've got a full month of breaks ahead in which we will raise even more for saint baldrick's so thank you so much to everyone who have participated in these breaks helping us raise a lot of good money oh look at that we've got a chrome of bryce harper in his Nats uni, of course, we all know he's a Philly now. This is numbered 606 to 999. Tim says he, he came to see the fire. <laughs> Elk is off camera, so you're not going to so see no, no fire. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure. Tim, what's your Twitter handle? Of course, if we miss any of the variations or short prints that we're looking for and you spot them please let us know we'll try to try to make sure we call them out on screen denard span is not some of these that look like they're going to be action variations actually aren't A lot of people say this is one of the uh, uglier top sets. I don't mind it so much. I know the gray is a little, you know, bland, but I, I really don't mind it so much. Okay, so uh, Tim is uh, at TSTK2008. Everything over uh, 400 is uh, a short print. Yes, that is true. So that's, those are the base short prints. This is Glaber Torres New Age Performers. Of course, the other short prints that we're looking for are like the action variations, the traded errors, all that good stuff. This year, we're not necessarily going to see exact uh, replication of the 1970 set. So I know that Tops has been pretty good about doing that in the past. There's a baseball flashback, hot corner hijinks, merit the prize. It's very cool. Um, but this year they didn't so much uh, do that. Whereas uh, they would go back to the original set and they would try to replicate or honor the exact errors and things like that. Uh, one of the big ones that they did kind of pay homage to this year is the uh, the Pat Neshek variation. If you see him wearing sunglasses, they actually Photoshop sunglasses on him to pay homage to the same card number from the 1970 set. And I thought that was so cool. So Tim, of course, is with the BCB fam. He's just calling it out. We love our BCB fam. We're, the, uh, we're an extended BCB fam member. All right, so I was actually actually just asking uh, John about this, uh, Waxtopia. If these scratch-offs were retail only, they are not. So we have one ourselves here. This is a an Anthony Rizzo, team captain, 
scratch off card. I'm not going to attempt to scratch anything off. I don't know if those are actual scratch offs or not, but uh, we'll <laughs> leave it as is. Baseball flashbacks, runner up to SWAT Supremacy. It's a Tory there. Remember, if you want a shot at one of these uh, prizes tonight, one of those prizes being an autographed 2019 Onyx Baseball, another prize being a full sealed box of 2019 Heritage, all you've got to do is be the Breaker Battle Champion at the end of the day. Just subscribing to our YouTube channel will do 50 hit points and damage to me. And tipping just a dollar, only a dollar, will do 100 hit points. Todd Frazier, are you a variation? It doesn't say that you are. Trevor Story, New Age Performers. And there's a little bit of strategy involved there, too. I think we've got our hit in this pack. No, maybe we don't. Use flashbacks, the Beatles go separate ways. We've got back-to-back -back sporting news inserts. Yeah, there's a little bit of strategy involved in Breaker Battle. You don't want to over tip because that doesn't carry over to the next level. So let's say, let's say right now you decided to tip $15. Let's decide, let's say you decided to tip hundred dollars. Doing that would beat me, yes, but that would still only get you to level two. So the maximum you would want to tip to get to the next level would be $10 right now for to just get from this level that we're on to the next level. And we have our first hit, and it's David Price for the Red Sox, a Clubhouse Collection Relic card going to the Red Sox. Red Sox are going to Kim K. I see Zegras is here. Ted's here. Uh, Todd Frazier is a throwback to the 1970 set as well. Says Ted. Everyone is on the board. I'd be <laughs> quite the feat if we go through an entire box. And... Second to last pack of the first box. Now that we pulled our first hit, this, this is the time that I ask. Ooh, someone just uh, subscribed. Ted just subscribed. All right, Ted's on the board now. Thank you, Ted. Doing a little damage. Took 50 hit points away from me. So now that we've pulled our first hit, this is the time where I start to ask, what are we going to pull? What's the big hit going to be out of this case? That was the final pack of box one. Someone is thinking that I'm going to pull a super fractor. Boy, I would love that. But I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking we're going to pull a red auto. I don't know that we've done a red auto out of uh, regular heritage. I, I, I feel like we've done a red auto out of heritage high number, but not out of regular heritage. All right, I got to grab a quick swig of my <laughs> of my mocha, my fancy mocha drink. All right, box number two. And we've got a Super Baseball box loader as our box topper here. These should ship pretty well in our boxes, I, I think. These are cool, I like them. This is Glaber Torres. Tops All-Star Rookie. Nice rounded corners. I Honestly, I am I really wish that uh, trading cards would just have rounded corners. I mean, think of all the issues that would solve <laughs> with trying to get your cards graded. 
See, now Ted said he found Heritage Stock at his target. And see, that's that's the thing. I don't... Ted usually gets uh, retail before we do. And Ted's not that far away from us. But for whatever reason, over here, we are just like the last people in the, in the metro area of the Twin Cities. Either our... Either XL does make it up here and then our targets just don't put them out. Or XL just comes up here last. I, I don't know why that would be, but... What is this? Oh, don't use that one. Oh, yeah, those aren't going to go in this. Got the relics going on there. Yeah, I didn't bring the ones for the relics up. Because I didn't know what size I would need. Take the team board down, give myself a little room to show these cards. Well, Ted thinks we're going to pull an Otani Red Ink. <laughs> yeah. Then and now, Bob Gibson and Max Scherzer. All right, so Ted said, check the Champlin target every day this week. Nothing the Excel rep over there is awful. See, and that's, that's the one we go to, <laughs> or at least I do. Ronald Acuna Jr., New Age Performer. Yeah, they are always so behind on getting their stuff out at that particular one. And then I'll go to other ones. I'll go to uh, I'll go to the Big Maple Grove one, and it'll be the same thing. New Age Performers, Miguel Andujar. <laughs> Tim said, uh, saw the snow on the back porch on Twitter earlier. That's a lot of snow. You have no idea. So I... I uh, I raked the roof of my garage. It's the only part of my house I can reach. Hey, we got an autograph. Chance Adams, New York Yankees. I almost didn't see that. It's a rookie auto, blue ink. Yankees are going to Lab Tech 94. Congratulations. Very nice. So I was, uh, as I was saying, I, was, I, I raked the roof of our garage. So that's the only part I can reach. And uh, I swear, the, the the snow depth on the roof of our garage is like at least two, maybe three feet deep. It's insane. Black border of Lewis Brinson. It's a paper parallel. Not numbered. There's the Nishek card. Glad we pulled that. Very cool. Nice. I hope, uh, I'm sure Deb got the Phillies. I would assume she did. Yep, Dame Debbie. I'm sure she better get all those autographed. <laughs> Pat is so good at signing. Sure, we've pulled some uh, base short prints, but I haven't necessarily noticed any of the variations just yet. And we will likely, like I said, we'll, we'll see a few of the uh, action variety. And there's a chance we already have. I would guess probably one per box. Waxtopia, what's cracking, sir? No, Michael, I did not pull your Buxton Hunter Carew. I'd be showcasing that on screen the entire time if I had.
Public Broadcasting Service news flashback. And in uh, in Crack and Wax tradition, uh, we did have a uh, technical hiccup to begin with, but uh, got that sorted out as soon as uh, it was called out. As soon as you walked in the room, yeah. Yeah, we were monkeying around uh, trying to figure out uh, the mic situation. There's Ozzy Elvis, New Age Performer. And I had some settings that I didn't realize we're going to do what they did, but we got it fixed right away. Justin is here. That's Lions Fan 9. News flashbacks. Rock singer Janis Joplin gone at 27. And Breaker Battle is underway. We've got some great prizes. Ted's already taken some uh, hit damage on me. We have a nice refractor of George Springer for the Astros. Numbered 179 of 570. Yeah, well, I I can be annoying. <laughs> she's like, she's like, can you? Oh, I sure can. It's another scratch off. This is of Justin Smoke. La Tortuga, Stephen Gonzalez, and Cole Stewart. Uh, Stewart. Yeah. Okay, Ted. I was. I'm glad you brought that up. I did see the dual autos, and I'm. Yeah, they are. I don't like the design of the dual autos. I, even the uh, the really nice looking Shohei and uh, Trout dual auto. It's too bad it's on that card. Okay, do we have... We've got an action variation. It's Chris Bryant. It's also in the base short print numbering. Action variation of Chris Bryant for the Cubs. Cubs going to Deb P. So that's the first... Variation that I've noticed. Again, I think we we might have passed one in the first box. Well, next year's design, uh, 75's design, all that's going to be interesting when they get to that stuff. Usually they do such a good, a, a good job with uh, kind of uh, coming up with what they feel like the design would have looked like back then if they were to design dual uh, autograph cards back then. Are you going to sleep the later? Yeah, I probably will. Yeah. Unless we, uh, unless we do, uh, if I find one of the throwback variations, then I'll just have you sleep and load that right away. Because I, I would consider that a hit. That's a tough pull. Aaron Nola, Phillies, New Age Performers. I just realized it chose a throwback show to have. On yeah, you did. Yes, you did. Uh, baseball flashbacks. Ryan sets Mets mark in near no no. All right, that does it for box two. And again, the hit was a Ch uh, Chance Adams, rookie auto for the Yankees. All right, well, who's got to join Ted here in trying to knock me off my throne here? Uh, once you defeat me as uh, the breaker battle champion, the prizes start rolling out. So level two and three, whoever's the breaker champion at the end of the day if you're on level two or three you'll get a free box break entry ticket if you are the final breaker battle champion and you end up in levels four or five you would end up instead with a guaranteed spot in the next free box break if you are the breaker battle champion at the end of the break in levels Six or seven, you would instead win one of our Crack and Wax hats. Eight or nine, you would win instead an autographed baseball, one of these three. Or if you are a breaker battle champion at the end of the day and we are on level 10, that means you would start the game with uh, hit points of 10,000 or more. You would instead get a free 
sealed hobby box of 2019 tops heritage and all you got to do is either subscribe to our youtube channel and do 50 points of hit damage or tip at least one dollar at least one dollar will do 100 points of hit damage five dollars will do 500 so on and so forth. I'm gonna tweet out, or not tweet out, I'm gonna chat out the link. And while I'm doing that, I wanna give a shout out to those watching us from Twitch and Periscope, and also to Breakers. Thanks for checking us out there. Uh, we do have our chat rooms attached to Twitch and YouTube today. So if anyone are, uh, if anyone happens to be in those chat rooms, you can certainly play along. Uh, we probably won't be pulling, I don't think any, um, any redemptions but if we do of course we do have a call your shot redemption game there as well so pay attention what's that for well youtube and the twitch i've got them both connected on this one so all right no this one isn't the random this one is the full the random starts at 5 p.m central as opposed to whatever team mm -hmm. all right box number three So it's a lot easier to, uh, to win a prize tonight, a lot easier to become Breaker Battle Champion. And the prizes are a lot better than they were last time. Box Topper. Is a buyback of Phillies. Dick Selma. Wasn't the first one a Phillies? Yeah. yeah. No. Wasn't? Reds. Oh, Reds, okay. All right, so Ted's looking for, not necessarily for himself, but just to see it, an Otani Red Ink. What else uh, What else do you think we're gonna pull? It's gonna be the big time pull today out of this case. Right there for Peter, really. Oh, gross. <laughs> she probably didn't hear it. She said Bryce Harper beard relic. Although I'm sure that would be valuable. Uh, gross. Uh, yes, sir. S1, S2 update. Chrome and Gypsy Queen are the bundle for the tops bundle. And we will be posting Don Russ pretty soon. We're going to be doing a at least a half case pick your team of Don Russ. That checklist should be coming out, I would hope, within a week. I've already uh, got confirmation that my case is coming. There's New Age Performer of Shohei Otani. Justin, that's a Lions fan, wants to see me pull Casey Mines. Waxtopia, that's John. It says Hall of Famer Rod Carew. That would be awesome. There's another scratch off. This is Noah Syndergaard, team captain. Ted would take a Bly Levin. I was <laughs> I had my I had my Bly Levin throwback shirt on today. And she uh, LQ decided that I looked like I was ill wearing that shirt. And you know what her, her reasoning was? It's your skin color. So it wasn't that the shirt made me look sick. I made me look sick. I've been taking my vitamin D. I feel just fine. I'm well caffeinated. New Age performers, Alex Bregman. I almost said New Age Outlaws. Good Lord. Oh, you didn't know. It is a wrestling thing. How did you guess? All right, Mookie Betts, action variation for the Red Sox. Well, see, that, that one was easy to see. Red Sox going to Kim K, grabbing herself one of the action variation short prints. That's not in the base short print numbering. That's so part of the regular set. Nonetheless, very cool.
And as we're opening this, of course, gotta give a big shout out to Blowout Cards. First of all, for the usual. Hey Mika, what's going on? Uh, for the great discount on our cases, uh, New Age Performers, Francisco Lindor, helped us stay relatively competitive with the uh, big time breakers. And also a big shout out to Blowout Cards for, for what they did, of course, with the, uh, the Clay Parks charity. Um, Houdini will be doing his case of Heritage pretty soon. Uh, there's the baseball flashbacks of Johnny Bench. And together, Houdini and I, through Blowout and Crack and Wax, were able to raise well over $5,000 that went to Clay Park. So that's really great. And as I mentioned, uh, this day of breaking alone, we were able to raise something like 150 or 160 bucks for St. Baldrick's. And I didn't even have to shave my head. I think you look sick now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've got a hit. Indians, Edwin Encarnacion, Clubhouse Collection Relic. Indians going to CMA Jastin 07. Congratulations. Newish, yeah. So I see, I like what they did with, I mean, it's very simple and it fits. But yeah, the dual auto, if we do pull one, you'll see it's a little meh, eh, little meh. But I mean, who's going to complain about, especially if your dual auto is Mike Trout and Shohei Otani. So tell me about your sorting experience now. How easy or difficult is it to sort this particular set? I always feel like the more ugly the card, the easier it is to sort, <laughs> LQ says the uglier the card, the easier it is to sort. Now you think that Basic. you think that Bowman must be a very beautiful looking set because you had a very hard time sorting that. Well that's just stupid. Because oh. <laughs> I don't like sorting by logos, especially with the variation logos or um how logos are very yeah. These just like, I look at the top of the card and there's word there. Yep, yep. <laughs> I sort by word. News flashbacks first women promoted to U.S. Army generals. packs left and we will be a quarter of the way through new age performers nolan arenado final pack of box number three and that does it there All right, folks, I'm going to get up and grab myself a soda. I'm getting a little parched because, man, I just talk so much. It's just, it just gives me a, a headache. <laughs> All right, folks, remember, breaker battle. Who's going to win that prize? Level one or two gets a free box break entry ticket. If you make it up to level 10, you get a free box of Topps Heritage. And all it takes is a dollar tip. Really? It's a lot easier to beat me this time. I, I, the last time that we did this, I started my hit points at 5,000. This time I'm only at 1,000. And Ted's already knocked me down to 950 points, so it's not that tough. Subscribing to our YouTube channel does 50 hit points of damage. Tipping a dollar does 100. So if anyone decides they want to tip $10 right now, they would at least win a free box break, uh, break entry ticket. Just like that. All right, folks, give me one second. I'm gonna grab a soda, I'll be right back.
All right. Okay, so Ted, I'm glad you brought that up. I'm going to put, uh, put up the, uh, the chat room here. So Ted says, I don't understand how the breaker battle works. I want a box of that heritage show. Okay, so I've got the rules kind of scrolling on screen. And I'll just quickly, uh, I'll quickly describe it right now. So basically, what happens is, oh, someone did uh, did some damage, and they must have subscribed. Thank you very much, whoever subscribed while I got up. So what happens is, is it's it's kind of like a video game, if you want to think of it that way. And I'm the final boss, and in order to win a prize, you have to beat the boss. In order to do damage to me. Um, you all collectively need to take away up to a thousand of my hit points that I have stocked up. To take away my hit points, you either subscribe or you tip, and I will quickly chat out that link for you in the chat rooms. And uh, a dollar tip will take away a hundred hit points, two will take away 200, three, 300, so on and so forth. Whoever beats me moves on to level number two and is the level two champion. If we end the entire day and you are still hanging on to, as champion of level two, you will get a prize. And your prize would be a free box break entry ticket. Now, if we end up going level to level to level to level, the prizes would get better. The final prize being if we happen to make it to level 10 tonight, which means 10 different champions will have to have been beaten. So me, uh, the next champion, so on and so forth, uh, would end up with that or one of those boxes. Well, not out of this case, but out of the next case. Um, and it's, it could be done with as little as 10 or as a little as $1. All you have to do is be the person that knocks the breaker paddle champion off. So let's say right now I'm down to 100 hit points and you haven't subscribed or you haven't tipped anything yet. And I only have 100 hit points left and you tip a dollar. You're the next level champion. And if no one beats you, you win that level prize. But if we go on and you get defeated and someone else becomes champion, then they win a prize instead. Now, the other, the big thing to remember here, though, is if you are a champion of a level, you can heal yourself as well. Now, let's say that you have 100 hit points left, and uh, you wanna you kind of want to build your health back up. You tip a dollar, you get 100 hit points back up to the total amount of hit points that you have. So let's say that your level is 2,000 hit points. Then you could you could tip no more than $20 to get you back to full strength. So the, the, the goal here is to raise a little bit more money here. And we give away a prize if someone beats me or is the final champion at the end of the day. So we'll be doing this all day. We're not going to stop this until we are done breaking. All right, and we're going to keep the rules kind of scrolling along at the bottom here. Just so you can uh, you can keep reading about that, but I think we should move along and crack some more wax. One of these days, I'll put together a quick video tutorial. But the first time that we did this, it was way successful, but there was a little confusion, so we made it easier today. Made the prizes better. I mean, who doesn't want a full box of Heritage? Especially if you can do it for just a buck. All right. Bill Robinson. Original 1970 Topps card. Buyback. Yankees. So, Ted, you had mentioned that uh, this kind of weather would make someone want to, you said, be a snowblower. Uh, I think you meant buy a snowblower. We have a snowblower, but uh, somebody left the uh, the fuel in over the winter. <laughs> and now the thing doesn't start. So, we've gone this whole winter, the worst winter I think I've ever been through in my entire life, without the use of our snowblower. And it's a monstrous heavy piece of machinery as well it's actually pretty unwieldy i as well as it works it's kind of hard to use 
feel like we've got a chrome in here. Or so. Yeah, we got a chrome in here. And it is Carlos Correa for the Astros. And that is numbered 803 of 999. Oh, we tried that. We tried that. Now, see what. If it stays in there that entire time and it starts to gunk up the works, then that, that doesn't work. News flashbacks, voting age in U.S. lower to 18. So the next step is to figure out how to get it to a place that will service it. Unfortunately, right now, what we just heard on the news that uh, if we took it in right now, we wouldn't get back till past St. Patrick's Day. Aaron Judge, New Age Performers. And I think, uh, I think we've seen the worst of it for the season. I can't imagine that we're going to get any more massive storms. Watch, I'll be wrong because I'm not exactly a human mother man. Juan Soto, New Age Performers. And yeah, when I, when I mentioned that I, I shoveled for two hours last night, that was no exaggeration. What'd you say? Oh, he doesn't know. Well, you were able to get how much work done while I was out there? Like the entire weekend's worth of housework you got done while I was outside. <laughs> she doesn't have a mic on, so she's not talking. She's just gesturing. That only works when there's a camera on. <laughs> News flashbacks, huge crowd rocks, Isle of White Festival. We gotta start watching that fire festival. I know it snowed in April last year, and uh, believe me, we've seen it snow in May. When Amy's uh, grandma passed, didn't it snow the next day? And the next day was like May 1st or something like that. I was just remembering that um, we were out there shoveling her uh, driveway and sidewalk and it had just it was and it wasn't just a little bit of snow it was a lot of snow yep bags on our feet because we didn't have the proper yeah yeah so if anyone wants to move to Minnesota <laughs> scratch off of Paul Goldschmidt Mm, right. Zegras, of course, who is up in Canada, said we had snow in June or July once. Wow. Yeah. Seriously, Grizz, how do you guys do it? <laughs> I mean, I know, you know, Ted and LQ and I down here in Minnesota, and probably to some degree, uh, Lions fan in Michigan. I mean, we, we're over it. Tom was never more terrific baseball flashbacks. And I can't imagine how much worse it might be in areas of Canada. New Age Performers, Max Scherzer. Where were we? Where we were up in high elevations and it was like, uh, it was July or something like that and I saw snow. And of course, it's natural for snow to be up in higher elevation, but it, that, it was Colorado. Yeah, and it, it, okay, the Tetons. And it freaked me out because I'd never seen snow at that time of year before. Kyle Crick, black parallel. And to me, it was just the weirdest thing, but I'm sure that's just normal for anyone that's up in a high elevation. Ted goes to Florida in 10 days. Picked a good time for that. Zegris, what did you just do? Zegris is the new champion. Nice. Now, I did notice that uh, I have set this. Um, hmm. I'm 
breaker battle isn't working the way that I set it up originally. Ah, because we're in fixed mode. All right, so Zegras, don't worry about it. It's going to say Krakenwax is uh, the current champion, but we are recognizing you as Krakenwax champion, and we are going to reset this. All right, Zegras, we are recognizing you as Kraken Wax champion, current Kraken Wax champion. Don't worry about it. Uh, I had to change it so, so it uh, went to incremental as I meant it to do. So that this is how we know that we're on level two. So congratulations, Zegras. You are definitely going to win some prize. Don't know exactly what prize yet. We'll see what happens. All right, there you go. So hit points, uh, we just changed it, and it says Kraken Wax. Don't worry, it actually should be Zegris. So Zegris is now the person to beat. And if Zegris isn't defeated, Zegris is going to win a free box break entry ticket. He is the current level two champion, and our hit right now is a Noah Cindergard Clubhouse Collection relic for the Mets. Mets tonight going to Gary T. And thanks again, Gary T, for hopping in and grabbing the Mets. Got you a nice Noah Syndergaard Clubhouse Collection relic. Congratulations, sir. feeling we either already pulled our variation and I didn't notice it or it's coming up soon so Ted you're going to Florida in 10 days Chris Davis new age performers that's what I was actually gonna ask is that a is that a spring training deal for you or is that uh, well basically is it business or pleasure Ted Variation must have been pulled. Yeah, Ross agrees. That's a lazy design. <laughs> so it at least... See, Ross, I think it at least looks fine on the Clubhouse Collection Relic. But uh, Ted and I were talking earlier about how it, the, the, the 1970 design that they came up with for the dual autos is not good. Not good. Lions fan, Justin is saying, top two hit of the night so far. We're just starting. You are right. You are right. Well, Ted says he blogs when he's down there, but it's it's not a job. All right. So to defeat Zegras at this point, who is the current level two breaker battle champion, a total of 2,000 hit points need to be taken away from Zegras. And to do that, 50 points just for subscribing to our YouTube channel. One dollar will take away a hundred of his hit points. And Zegras, you can defend yourself too. Another one of these super baseball box loaders. And we've got Shohei Otani. That somehow looks like a painting. Might be kind of processed a little bit, but it's a very nice looking card. Well done, Tops. We 
have a refractor of Xander Bogarts. Not numbered. Huh. Wonder why that's not numbered. I mean, it's, it's a refractor, right? Yeah, it's a refractor. It's refracting, and it's not numbered. What is going on there? It's also in the short print range, so I wonder if that has something to do why why it's not uh, numbered. Interesting. Okay, and then Heimer Condelaria, black parallel, non-numbered. Yeah, I'll have to look into that. Why? Uh, maybe it's just the short prints, chromes that aren't numbered. That's weird. Oh, it's one of the purples. Okay, I didn't notice that. So this is our purple hot box. All right, I got gotcha. it. So it's not just a refractor, it's a purple. So we've got Eric Hosmer. News flashback, rock singer Janis Joplin. All right, that makes a lot more sense now. Okay, well, that's something that um, Tops might have want to work on a little bit with these is to make that purple a little bit more purple. Do you? Well, from maybe it is purple, but I'm. Very lavender. Yeah, because I I was just thinking of what the the chrome refractor looked like from from the last time I saw it, and, and it didn't look quite as purple. But that's just me. There's John Carlos Stanton, Blake Snell, New Age performer. But LQ thinks it looks like a kind of a lavender slash periwinkle. Paul DeYoung. Who? Sally Perez is upside down. Now, that doesn't always mean something, but uh, anytime it does happen, I like to look and see what's going on. I don't think anything's going on there. Nothing was called out. And, oh, we've got a 10 of 10 hit of some sort, and we're going to put that back there. We're going to let that rest a little bit. Whoa. Well, that might be our big hit. That's a 10 of 10. I don't know what it is yet, but uh, it's going to be something nice, whatever it is. Miguel Andujar. Albert Pujols is upside down. All right, what's that 10 of 10 going to be, folks? It's a nice thick card. Hand numbered 10 of 10, so it's a... <laughs> Our eBay one of one of the day. We usually end up with one of those. Justin Verlander purple. What's your guess? What's that hit going to be? 10 of 10. Purple of Starlin Castro. And an upside down Yachty Molina. It's one thing I appreciate about Heritage that I detest about Flagship. Is that I'm not having to flip cards over <laughs> just to hand them over to LQ or to sort or uh, collate them. Severino. What do you folks think? I think it's gonna be a duel something or other. Justin Smoke Purple, Juan Soto. All right, so LQ thinks it's gonna be Mike Trout and somebody. John thinks it's gonna be Hall of Famer Rod Carew. I think someone needs to take some hit points away from Zegras here. Jacob deGrom, Purple. Trey Mancini, purple. Justin Verlander, new age performer. Yeah, what was that? What happened? Were you cracking backs? Patch card of some sort, Mika thinks. Maybe uh, Nolan Ryan for Rangers. <laughs> 
Justin thinks it's going to be Tiger. Of course you do. Uh, Scooter Jeanette. Purple. Purple of Charlie Blackman. And three sporting news cards in a row. I mean, it's part of the normal base checklist. It's not an insert, but that was weird. Card Junk says it's going to be a coin card. It could be. Purple of Paul Goldschmidt. And an upside down Jordan Hicks. Just in time for our birthday. For our 24th birthday. See, I've been reversing the numbers. Yeah. That only works up till like 30 more. <laughs> Kenta Maeda. Christian Yelich. New Age performers. Well, if I keep my hat on, I look like I might be 34. And stay shaved. Purple of Miles Mikolas. Felipe Vasquez. I don't know why I'm calling out the uh, upside down cards, but whatever. Waxtopia, why are you thinking tops? And uh, I have yet to check out your, your uh, DM to me, John. Sorry about that. Clayton Kershaw, purple. Scratch off of Noah Syndergaard. Purple of Aaron Nola. Baseball flashback. Have a great day, Al. Purple of Francisco Lindor. Glaber Torres, All-Star Rookie Cup. Purple of Will Myers, Javier Baez, New Age Performer. What do you mean, just a mail day? Mail days are important. Don't degrade your mail day. Uh, D. Gordon, purple. And I have no idea if we pull our variation. I've just been trying to plow through these packs so we can get that. That hit. Oh, from me. Oh, oh, from me. Okay. Mike Trout, purple, followed by a chrome of Corey Kluber. This is numbered. That's numbered for 641 of 999. Try to get that on there. I don't know if you can see that too well. That's tough. Yeah, that's not, uh, that's not numbered in a good spot. Final pack, and then we'll find out what that 10 of 10 possible case hit we don't know although i don't think there are case hits in heritage this year uh eugenio suarez purple tuve all right here we go fulmer kendrick's trying to edwin encarnacion purple and the 10 of 10 clubhouse collection well i just saw some ink it is. Mike Trout, Shohei Otani! Whoa! And who called that? Literal Cork called yes. that. Whoa, that's a biggie. Going to Dame Debbie. Whoa, and she's not even watching. Oh, my Lord. Shohei with a piece of piping. Trout with a red. Good Lord. Well, I have to tweet that one. All right, this is going up. Good Lord.
I'm gonna tweet this out real quick. Yeah, LQ says being right is fun. <laughs> there we go. What did the angels cost in this? Well, let me see. Well, what were the angels worth in this is the is the better question. All right, tweet it out. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's gonna stay right there for a while. So let me let me see what uh, what the angels were were or what I charged for the angels anyway in this. Angels went for seventy nine. Yeah. Congrats, Deb. Wow. <laughs> All right, well. No. <laughs> That's like uh, her third trout from us in second Shohei, I think. Well, I don't think uh, I don't think we're pulling anything better out of this case unless there's a super still sitting in here. So uh, remember, folks, if you're on YouTube and you're enjoying what you just saw, please give us a thumbs up <laughs> and please please uh, comment on the the replay what you thought the hit of the night was. I'm pretty sure it's that card right there. And of course, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Vote in the poll at the top here. Let us know what you thought of this break. And if you want to play along with the breaker battle subscribing will take away 50 hit points from Zegras, who is the current champion and donating one dollar or more will take away hit points as well one dollar is worth a hundred hit points ten dollar is uh, dollars is worth a thousand hit or yeah a thousand hit points twenty dollars will dethrone Zegras right now there you go all right well i gotta take a little sip of my beverage here oh my gosh I know it needs to get magged now, but it's just going to sit there laying up against my breaker board. <laughs> or my breaker mat, I should say. In fact, we're going to lay it flat. I don't even want the edge to get dinged up. We're just going to lay it flat. Um, we'll lay it flat over here so we can still kind of see it there. Ted says, I feel like you pull Otani in almost every break. And LQ just said that earlier. I, I write so much, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to come down to earth now. What was my quote earlier that you said? I'm sorry for having opinions. Yeah, LQ's new uh, slogan is, I'm sorry for my opinions. Yes. We've got a Brooks Robinson super... Uh, not super fractor, but top super. Nice call, LQ. Thank you. Do I get something for call your shot? You get to keep sorting cards. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, you get pizza later. How's that? Oh, I can make it. No, because if you're making it, that means I'm collating. I thought you were doing other stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> so uh, Ted says, I'm going to bring up the chat room just to see what Ted's uh, saying here. Ted says, none sold, but two of those of 10 are listed on eBay, $14.99 auction and $29.99 OBO. I'm going to say that that uh, OBO is not going to be not going to be that. But that auction will pro it'll probably end closer to 2000 I think, that auction will. I could be wrong. I'd be very happy to be wrong. And we love our Dame Debbie, so I'm, I'm glad she got she got something big. Uh, Marischal Blanks, Rival Dodgers. Mitch Hanniger, New Age Performers. And the thing is, though, 
that you have to remember, not only is that a 10 of 10, a very, 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 very low uh, numbered card. Very short printed. Very rare. Um, that's two of possibly the best current baseball players in the entire world. Not just Major League Baseball, but the entire planet. You can make arguments for Bryce Harper, for Manny Machado. I think I think Trout's better than those uh, players. Nothing against those two. Shohei Otani, I know he has yet to really prove himself because, you know, of injury and things like that. But, man. You put both those autographs on that card. And nice pieces of jersey in there. You might not find you might not find a more valuable card in this product. Except I think there might have been a one of one of the uh, version of that that was pulled, and maybe that would do it. You, uh, you also have to talk about that. That's a ten of ten, so that's that might get more out of eBay for being the quote unquote eBay one of one, right? Yeah, they call it, so and then and then LQ called it, so that. <laughs> but it also helps your case that you call Otani every time. So. I do not. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's already not only can uh, almost a sure fire hit of the night. I would almost argue that that's going to be hit of the month so far, unless we pull something else. Just well, yeah, insane. It's, it's the second of March. Of course it's the hit of the month. <laughs> no, at the end of the month, that would still end up being oh. the hit of the month. I don't mean so far. Walker Bueller, New Age Performers. It sure would. Well, yeah, I mean, that's, and someone just brought that up. That, that is, uh, here's Jacob, uh, good round, new age performers. That is the modern day version of the Ruth Gehrig. Kinda. But yeah. Starlin Castro Chrome, 989 of 999. Baseball flashbacks, Carlton wins Battle of the Zeros. Yeah, and in between breaks here, I'm going to have to go down and see if I do have a mag case that will fit that card. I know I've got a top loader at the very least that that will fit into. Did I see a short? Did I? No, I didn't. That's card number 500. So that is a short print, but not a variation. Well, Zegras is hanging on as current Breaker Battle Champion, level two. No one's even contesting his rule and reign as Breaker Champion. Still sitting on all 2,000 hit points. Here's a scratch off of Jose Altuve. Just subscribing to our YouTube channel will take away 50 of his hit points. As long as you do it right now, live during the break. Which performer Mookie Betts. And that is not a variation. Why did that not look familiar? So you were texting with Debbie. Is she watching? I don't see her in the chat room. And we've got a Twins hit, Eddie Rosario, Clubhouse Collection. I've got to say, this might actually beat out the Trout Otani dual auto. LQ's looking at me like, <laughs> no, I love Rosario. This is a cool hit. I would, I would love to have this hit. Uh, twins going to 
Ted. So Ted knocking on the knocking on the hit list here with an Eddie Rosario Clubhouse Collection jersey. Congrats, Ted. And hey, that's Chat Room Mojo right there. LQ hates my little gimmicky catchphrases. Waxtopia, now why do you think that Ted's not here? He's right here. He says chat room absent Mojo. And I'm surprised after pulling that uh, that card that we didn't drop more people off the, the, the stream than we did. But no, it's not going to get any better than that one. Ted says I can keep it. What? Nah. All right, we are halfway done. We've been streaming for, well, an hour and 20 minutes, but that first 10 minutes was me figuring out that the mic wasn't on. Well, it was on, it just wasn't broadcasting. So and really, like, really, like really, really, yeah. Okay, folks, I gotta take another swig and then we will move on to the second half of this case. And uh, man, I just, I need to take one more look at this, this beautiful card. Oh, John was talking about Deb. Oh, he's five minutes five minutes behind again. <laughs> Hello, Iowa. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Put that on on the crack of Max hat over there. <laughs> oh, and slowly peeking out from behind that is LQ's snow hat. I love it. It's so cute. All right. So I, I do have some beer that we're going to get into later. And, uh, not the beer I wanted to get, but it's close. It's a nice, nice porter. It's the Diet Pepsi of beer. It's the Diet Pepsi of the beer I wanted. <laughs> Is Pepsi okay? Sure. I got Summit, right? Now, I'm not normally a fan of Summit. I wanted to get Fulton, but I ended up with Summit because it was the closest thing I could find of what I wanted. And it's a, uh, it's a porter. Just something chocolatey sounded good to me. Chuck Hinton, Indians. Original buyback. Not in terrible shape. A little ding on the bottom corner there. Now there's still a chance that I finally pulled that super fractor that I've been looking for. It's still on my breaker bucket list. Which reformer Christian Yelich. I keep saying Yelich, but I feel like it's actually Yelich. And I'm sure that we've gone past a few variations that we uh, we missed as I was kind of flying through here. No doubt. Probably at least an action variation or two. Maybe even a color swap. Throwback would be a little easier to see, I think. And those are the hardest to pull. As I mentioned at the top of the break, there's a baseball flashback. Tireless Gibby goes the distance. Oh, that's just a flyback that just goes. Ted said he cracked 
a rookie or a trout rookie out of a slab this morning. Need to send a PSA and decide that was better than a crossover. Plenty nervous. Uh, well, yeah, I would be too. <laughs> uh, John says Summit EPA is good. I'm not an EPA fan, and I, I know that's uh, Javier Baez, new performers. EPA or IPA or APA. We don't like any. I know I'm not a big fan of any PAs, especially the one that calls Viking games. Sorry, Ted. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. Brandon Nemo, Refractor, Mets, 212 of 570. So I have to remember that uh, that Trout Otani came out of the hot box. So I wonder if the other versions of that card. Oh, well, there goes uh, there goes my game. Uh, we just got a, cl a clubhouse collection autograph relic of Chris Bryant. Sorry. Uh, oh, that would have been fun to call. Just screwed up our yes. call your shot. <laughs> I didn't see that the redemption was sitting in there. Ooh. But uh, someone's getting a nice clubhouse collection autograph relic of Chris Bryant. Oh, that is that is going to. Oh, that won't beat the Otani Trout. But, man, that is up there. Uh, Cubs going to... Deb P. So both our Debs getting some really hot hits out of this. Congrats, Deb P. Well, that's, that sucks. I wanted to play <laughs> Call Your Shot. Damn. This is the technical difficulty break of mine. Well, it wasn't it's just me going through cards real fast and not noticing that there was a, a relic in there, or a, a redemption in there. My bad. Well... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lions fans said I would have guessed Chris Bryant too. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh huh. <laughs> well, this case certainly hasn't disappointed. But when you pull. Pull those out of there. Uh, you're probably going to think that. Honestly, I wasn't expecting any redemptions anyway. And that's part of the reason why I was flying through these packs as I am. UH performer Justin Verlander. Scratch off of Robinson Cano. All right, Zegris. Thanks for hopping in, and uh, we'll see if you survive as Breaker Battle Champion today, buddy. Black Border of Javier Baez. says this beats both cases combined that I was in last night oh boy well as we have experienced here at crack and wax yes any product is like that you know you can have the the case or box of the entire product or you could have the absolute worst one of the whole product it, it's uh but the, the the trick is to try to have a good time no matter what happens. You know, we're all here in the chat room having a good time, just seeing what happens, you know, trying to beat up on poor be uh, Z Grizz, you know. <laughs> trying to play.
call your shot, but uh, the brake host screws that up. New age performer Blake Snell. I believe we pulled that one before. News flashback. Tragedy strikes Marshall football team. Mm. Kind of depressing news in these cards. What the heck? <laughs> it's not very tops like. All right, that does it for that box. I'm gonna fix my trash bag here. It's kind of overflowing. Oh, wow. So Kim got a throwback. Autos were not great. So the throwbacks are really hard. So congrats on the throwback. Who was it? Super Baseball top loader or box loader. Top loaders are different than box loaders. Al Kaline. Exactly. All right, so we've pulled Technically, three autographs out of this case, if you count the redemption. Yeah, he does. So the throwback was Chris Davis. Well, congrats, Kim K. Shohei Otani is an action variation. So we've got the action variation out of the way. Oh, you get a Reggie Jackson dime card. Why? Well, I, I guess you must have had the A's, huh? <laughs> So we are still currently on level two. Zegras is the level two Breaker Battle Champion so far. And to beat him, we just have to do 2,000 hit points and damage. Trevor Story, New Age Performers. And how does that work, LQ? I don't get it. She doesn't get it. <laughs> Subscribing does 50 points, hit damage. And each dollar you tip does 100 hit points of damage. And here comes that link to the chat room if you've missed it. They're big prizes, I know that. She knows there are big prizes. Better prizes. There's a Hall of Famer Rod Carew, but it's, you know, it's an insert card, but it's, it's, it's still. And right now we are on the, on the level two and three prize that Zegers will get unless uh, someone beats him. Which performers JD Martinez.
American Top 40 hits the airwaves. They still do that. Uh, I think, well, what's his name? After Kate Doesn't, uh... I think it's Reverb stuff. I don't know. Oh, maybe Ryan Seacrest? Yeah. Was, I thought maybe Seacrest was doing American Top 40. Maybe they just discontinued it all together. I don't know. I, when's the last time you listened to, like, normal... Regular radio. All right, our hit is Josh Harris and a Clubhouse Collection Relic for the Pirates. Pirates are going to Donald B. And I believe that is a crack and wax rookie. A little bit of rookie mojo. Congrats, jo or Josh. Uh, <laughs> Donald B. Again, another shout out to all those folks watching from Twitch and Periscope and Breakers TV. Nice to have you here. Good to see you. There was no non-baseball spot. We're just going to be randomly distributing that stuff. Jose Ramirez, Cleveland Indians, New Age Performers. I know some Breakers were doing a non, uh, but when I was looking over the checklist, I didn't feel like we were going to be pulling enough non-baseball stuff and the non-baseball pile that i'm looking at right now that lq has sorted out is very very small it just didn't make sense to me baseball flashbacks yaz cranks the power revs the wheels scratch off of freddie freeman Former Gallego Torres. I think we pulled that one already. Final pack. All right. That does it for that box. How you doing, folks? How you hanging in there? And remember, after this case is done with, we are gonna we're gonna keep the stream on, but we will be back at 5 p.m. Central for the half case random team. So make sure that uh, you're back here at 5 p.m. Central to watch that. Yeah. Kinda. Well, that's so I didn't have to split up videos and redo everything that I did this morning. Instead of doing it twice, we just do it once. Keep the stream on. People come back at 5 p.m. Central. And it's almost as if they were two streams in. I will after uh, it uploads and I do the replay. Yeah. Aaron checks off more benchmarks. Trout New Age Performers. Am I going at a decent speed for you? That uh, Red Sox uh, stack looks pretty big. I kind of figured that was going to happen. Graves looks pretty big. 
Dodgers, Mets, Astros look pretty big. Cubs look pretty big. Big performer Aaron Nola. You know things are going uh, pretty quickly when uh, I'm not even commenting on what I'm pulling at this point. <laughs> Remember when I first started uh, doing this years ago, I would, I would stop and I would actually call out each and every single freaking card I pulled. Like, everybody's names every single time. And I would, I, you know, I'd done that more for box breaks. There's new age performers of Ozzy Albies. But man, when I did that for case breaks, goodness. I mean, they were like six hour long case breaks just for one case. And of course, you know, I'm like, how are people doing this? <laughs> Number one, I feel bad for anyone that has to sit through all that, but as the breaker, I was just like, I no way. Uh, Venera 7 first to send data from Venus surface. And I'm sure it got crushed two minutes later under the massive air pressure on Venus. I am a nerd and I know stuff. Chrome of Andrew Benintendi, that is numbered. Looks like 107 of 999. LQ, does that bother you that I'm a nerd and I know stuff? Or does it bother you that I said that? No. Okay. <laughs> All of the above. What's up, DZ? We didn't pull any uh, two of ones, but we did pull a 10 of 10. And our Clubhouse Collection Relic, Luis Severino for the Yankees. I believe that's going to Lab Tech 94. That's Josh Williams. Yes, indeed. I believe that is hit number two for the Yankees, if I am not mistaken. Congrats, Josh. DZ, would you like to see that 10 of 10 that we pulled earlier? Now that you're here, why don't, why don't we just show them real quickly? That was pulled out of our Purple Chrome Hot Box. Okay, back to the action. Then we've got, then we'll be three fourths of the way through this case. We'll have three boxes left. And uh, there's a good chance that our buddy Zegris is going to remain Breaker Battle Champion. But the Breaker Battle will continue through the break and into the second half of this break. Uh, Ronald Acuna Jr., New Age Performers. That's right. We will not reset the breaker battle. We will keep it going through the next break at 5 p.m. Central. News flashbacks. Diana Ross and the Supremes final concert. And uh, Zegris is not here, so he can't defend himself. He, If someone takes away some of his hit points, he cannot heal himself. He is out of the chat room. So now is the time. If you're going to do it, do it now. Scratch off of Clayton Kershaw.
DZ with two thumbs up. And that was the last pack. All right, moving on. Next box. And again, the charity from these breaks is going to St. Baldrick's. We've raised something like 150 or 160 bucks. Thanks again to Blowout Cards for the awesome discount, helping us raise that kind of charity. Thurman Munson is our super baseball box loader out of this box. Aaron Judge, New Age Performer. Oh, you were watching that on Prime? I didn't know that. I was thinking that was on Netflix or something. What else do you watch on Prime right now? So, DZ says, what's your take on Harper to the Phils? And actually, LQ and I had this discussion a little earlier before the break. I think Harper has absolutely uh, earned the money he's going to get. And it's quite clear that he was really wanting to lock down a long-term contract. That's quite obvious. But thats I don't think that's going to guarantee the Phillies a World Series championship. It'll absolutely help. But as we've seen in some of these long-term, massively huge, expensive contracts... Some of these players are not performing to their worth after that point. New Age performers, Chris Davis. Now, I'm not saying that they're purposely not playing to their fullest potential. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that by the time that they sign these contracts, and yes, I know Harper is still very young. He's got a lot of playing time ahead of him. But uh, it just seems like there's a black parallel of Scott Shebler for the Reds. Seems like that once they've signed these contracts, their their performance in one way or another, be it through playing too hard and injuring themselves or whatever the case may be, that uh, the expectation of their performance is so high that they can never meet that expectation, uh, you know, especially from the fans. I think the fans are going to expect him to be the second coming uh, for baseball, and he's just never going to meet that. Maybe the Phillies will win a World Series while he's on the team. Maybe not. Maybe they'll win a few. I really don't know. But my gut feeling is that they'll get one. They might be uh, make a few World Series appearances. They'll probably win one of them. But I think that's going to be about it. And I worry that Harper is going to be one of those guys that uh, plays too hard because of his contract and ends up injuring himself. Nixon meets the king in the Oval Office. Waxtopia John says it's a much better deal than Pujols. Yeah. Bless you. Uh, Chrome rookie stars Kyle Tucker and Sionel Perez, numbered 447 of 9.99. And, you know, and that's uh, these contracts, of course, are going to kind of help determine what future contracts are going to look like. So when it comes to be uh, Mike Trout's time, I mean, what are we looking at for dollar amount? Now are we talking about a half billion dollar contract? And does Mike Trout deserve that in this day and age? I'm not going to say no. So John says, I like that he didn't want an opt-out means he wants to stay there at least. Yes, and that might be part of what the Phillies wanted as well. Walker Bueller, New Age Performer. That if they're going to pay him that kind of money, they mean for him to stay there. 
because a lot of times those kind of contracts, if they go somewhere else, they, they're still on the hook to pay them. So might as well make them stay if they're going to pay them. Why have your player go somewhere else and still have to pay them? You know? That to me would be foolish. DZ. Well, he hasn't given his input yet. So, LQ asks, DZ, what is your take? DZ says it uh, also puts a face on Philly baseball. And John says, when the Phillies sign Trout, uh, they will be a force. Well, <laughs> yeah, and they will be broke. <laughs> They'll be the, uh, yeah, I was, I was just going to say that. LQ beat me to it. They'll be the NL Yankees. I think we've got our hit in here. And let's move you to the back because I haven't really gotten to do that much today. I like to do that normally. All right, hit of this box is behind Elvis Andrews. It is Clubhouse Collection Relic of Dan's Bay. Dan's Bay going to the Braves. And the Braves going to Chris424. That's Chris M at Mad Glav Smoltz. One of our regular Braves guys. I have a feeling that if uh, he didn't pick up the Braves like he does with us. Uh, Stacy might be the one that would be our Braves. <laughs> Regular. Uh, DZ says, I like it. It's mutual on both sides. Uh, no opt-out, no trade. Ooh. What did I... Oh, I didn't do anything. Okay, good. Team board again, just in case I did something. Nope. All right, good. My uh, broadcasting uh, software made some changes. Uh, I downloaded their, their update today. I'm, I'm still getting used to some of the new stuff they put on there. Max Scherzer, new age performer. Rockstar Jimi Hendrix passes away. Jeez. Yeah. Death note yeah. This is like the obituary set. Obituary thing. Slippy Slappy Swim Swam Swanson. Scratch off of my trout. Flashbacks, Willie wins Battle of Future Immortals. Final pack. Box number 10. All right. Remember the days when a guy stayed 10 plus 12 or 10 to 12 plus years on a team? on their whole career. Michael Uh, No, he didn't. He didn't? No, he played for the Rockies. He, well, but how many years was he with the Twins? Not that many. Really? Yeah. My, I was just going to say Joe Maurer. Oh. Joe Maurer. Yeah. Derek Jeter. What do we have here? What do we have here? We've got a 3 of 30 Chris Davis poster for the A's. Box topper. Yeah, Joe Maurer would be one of those guys that I would instantly think of when you think of players staying on one team for their whole career. And yeah, 
before free agency? Yeah, I mean, Joe Maurer did that during the free agency age, you know? But doing it before free agency, well. Jesus says, hey, Maurer could have left, but it was right to stay home. Well, of course he could have left. Baseball flashbacks. Have a great day, Al. He does, it is Kemp's dairy products via Amazon products. <laughs> George Brett, Tony Gwynn, Whip, uh, Whipkin, Ripkin, Robin Yount. Whipkin, call Whipkin. So is that Baba Wawa? Is that Quipkey? Or is it our cats? Willie. Earth Day festivities sprout in U.S. And people die. <laughs> Dun and celebrities are gone. For small market teams, it's tough to compete without a guy like that snake. Sure, sure. But, uh... I would argue that the Twins weren't really all that competitive after Maurer signed his big deal to stay. Jacob DeGrom, New Age Performers. On the flip side of that, though, and I mentioned this to LQ earlier when they do that, the Twins didn't necessarily pay him to stay, although, of course, they did. They paid him for what he was worth while they were competitive, while he was winning MVPs and batting titles and Because he got paid way under his value before he signed that big contract. I mean, Maurer, even, even hometown discount aside, was paid way under what he should have been. Uh, he's no Mike Trout, but as far as catchers go, he might as well be. Action variation of Christian Yelich for the Brewers. Brewers going to Zegers. Hello, your product review videos are awesome, and I just came by as I saw you were going live. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, we haven't done one in a little while. Uh, it, you know what? If I didn't have a day job, I, I would do them for every product. But I, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Yeah, I want to get back to doing that whenever I get more time. <laughs> Mitch Hanniger, new age performers. Yeah, LQ says she's going to do a product review of my hat. I'll tweet a picture of it going over my ears and half of my face. <laughs> so we got a request to see that uh, dual card, so I'll show that real quickly again, very gently and carefully. That was pulled out of the purple chrome hot box out of this case. Doesn't get too much better than that. Lights on, Reggie Stars, Curtain Falls. <laughs> New Age performers, Francisco Lindor.
Yeah, those are very clean autographs too. Very clean autographs. That's uh that's a keeper. That is a definite keeper. Hey, uh, we've got another autograph for the Rays, Jake Bowers. You don't sleep on the Rays. No, LQ knows that other one that we say all the time. Don't ever sleep on the Rays. And who didn't sleep on the Rays this time? It was Patrick K. Little uh, crack and wax rookie mojo. Get a nice rookie card, auto. And that's another reason to love Heritage's on card autos. Love them. Nice job, Patrick. Congratulations. Yeah, they must have been given some very fresh uh, Stetler. <laughs> That's what I use. That's what I have LQ uh, use on her autograph cards. Buster Posey scratch off. What? Oh, I've got it right here. Sorry. Thank you. As soon as you can. be doing a hit recap uh, probably in about 15 20 minutes new age performers of Mookie Betts of course as we're collating if we do happen to find any other variations of note that uh, we missed and I'm sure we missed a few I uh, will tweet them out as we find them And after we're done with the full day of breaking, we're still going to have a half case of Heritage left over. So you got to let me know if you want me to load those up in some form or fashion, whether it be a couple boxes at a time or just another half case, maybe this time a PYT version. Let me know. Happy to do it. Of course, the more we break, the more we donate. We are on to our final box of the full case PYT. Yes, Tyler, we did pull a an Otani Trout dual auto. It was a actually dual auto, dual relic, number 10 of 10. And we will show that off again during the hit recap. And Zegris, my friend, okay, this is the last box, so I gotta mention it one more time. Zegris is still holding on. He is the current, even though it says Crack and Wax, Zegris is the current Crack and Wax Breaker Battle Champion. He still has all 2,000 of his hit points. If you wanna take over, and snatch his prize out of his fingers. All you have to do is collectively take away all 2,000 of his hit points. It's pretty easy. As you see on the screen there, $1 tip equals 100 hit points. So that means if uh, $20 were tipped in this round, someone would be the new Breaker Battle Champion and would win a prize instead of Zegras. If you haven't done so already, subscribing to our YouTube channel, well, that does 50 hit points in damage. Current champions can heal themselves by tipping, but guess what? Our current champion isn't here. He's vulnerable. He cannot heal himself. So if someone starts tipping now and becomes the new Breaker Battle Champion, he can't do anything about it. So now's your chance, and the prices include. So right now we're on level two. Level two and three uh, will get a free box break entry ticket. Level four and five will get a guaranteed free box break spot. Uh, level six and seven will get a free Crack and Wax hat. Level 8 and 9 will get a free autographed baseball. Level 10 and above will get a free box, sealed box of 2019 Tops Heritage. Right now we are on level 2, so right now Zegra is, is getting a free box break entry ticket unless somebody beats them. And uh, if you're looking for that tip link, I'm going to throw that up in the chat room right now. Our super baseball card is of Mr. Lynn Nolan Ryan. Wouldn't that be nice if that was actual autograph? I want to see somebody beat Zegras while he's not here. <laughs> I just... While he can't defend himself. Final box. All right, let's see if we can find that Super Fractor. 
Oh, you're bored over there? You got everything in top loaders? Refractor of Max Scherzer. 314 of 570. Are we going to have enough for the... Right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. LQ rocking as always. Speaking of rocking, LQ bought VIP packages to see one of my all-time favorite bands. Yeah. Failure. Yeah. Actually get to go meet them. Yeah. Watch a private performance. Yeah. Rehearsal. Get to take a picture with them. Get to have stuff autographed. Yeah. Shohei Otani, New Age Performers. It's going to be a fun time. Thank you, LQ. And then right after that, we're going to go do some indoor skydiving, right? Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> she bought that for me, too. Going on a train ride to a skating rink, yep. The Unrookie baseball flashback. You shovel. I do. It's like that's my third job is shoveling. Well, we're gonna be off the air for like a good hour and a half. Or more. That's good. That's good. I was actually thinking this was going to take longer, so. Give some time to start collating and stuff. Actually have a little lunch between breaks. You do whatever you need to do. Yeah, of course. Maybe say hello to the captains. Oh, your hair? Yeah. That's cute. I like your hair. I'm wearing a hat. That does not make me cute. Or does it? It helps. <laughs> What's his name? Why do you like long hair and you don't like long hair on me? No one or not all New Age performers. Yeah, but you and like Tim Lincecum. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Well, I don't like him for his hair. Oh, he just happens to have long hair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Big time to do. Here, we, here we go with your list, and your list is now like 30 guys deep, so. <laughs> That's what she said. All right, what are we going to find out of our last box? Which performer Miguel Andujar? Yeah. Got a black parallel of Harrison Bader, also a rookie. And our last hit is Joey Votto. Clubhouse Collection Relic going to the Reds. I bet that's going to be Dead P. And it is Dead P grabbing the last hit out of this case. All right. Now, let's see if we've got any other good chromes. Maybe uh, a throwback variation is hiding in here somewhere that I'm not aware of. Of course I wouldn't be aware of it. I haven't seen it yet.
Of each performer, Alex Bregman. Scratch off of Lorenzo Kane. All right, say it with me, everybody. We are down to our penultimate pack. All right, see you, DZ. All right, nothing of note there. Final pack of this case. And then we'll do our hit recap. These flashbacks, EPA gets its start. All right, there we go. Okay, so that does it for this case. And the hit recap. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight relics. Nine, ten. Uh, two on card autos, and we've got an auto relic um, redemption, and then we've got a dual auto, dual relic um, 10 of 10 in the background there. So put up the team board. We've got Joey Votto, Clubhouse Relic. Josh Harrison, Clubhouse Relic. Eddie Rosario. David Price. Thor. Edwin Encarnacion, Dens Bay, Luis Severino, Chance Adams on card rookie autograph, Jake Bowers on card rookie auto, Clubhouse Collection autograph relic of Chris Bryant, and of course the big one. Mike Trout, Shohei Otani, 10 of 10, dual auto, dual relic. That's the big one, I think. All right, folks. Well, what did you think uh, of the break? Please uh, vote in the poll at the top of this video. If you're watching the replay, be sure to comment below. Let us know what you thought the hit of the break was. If you enjoyed what you were watching, please give us a thumbs up in YouTube. Uh, we are going to uh, keep the stream going live. We will be back at 5 p.m. Central for the half case random team so you can either just uh, hang out in the chat room for a while or you can pop back then uh either way we're going to keep the breaker battle going so if if you want to knock zegris off his throne we just need uh 2000 hit points so that's one dollar equals 100 hit points a subscribe equals 50 hit points that's it and then someone will get to the next level all right folks we will see you in an hour in 45 minutes thanks a lot everybody if we don't see you then hey as always Keep cracking that wax.
everybody, welcome back. It is time to do a little bit more Tops Heritage. And uh, we've got our half case random team right now. So that's 2019 Tops Heritage random team half case, six boxes as you see right in front of us. I'm going to adjust my camera just a little bit. There we go. So six boxes, that's a half a case. And uh, hey, what's cracking everybody? Welcome back, it's 5 p.m. Central Time. There's L LQ's hand, <laughs> thanks for doing that. Uh, if you're joining us here from uh, Twitch or Periscope or Breakers TV, hello, how's it going? If you're here in YouTube, uh, please do us a favor, give us a thumbs up, uh, it helps with our analytics. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. If you're watching the replay, let us know what you thought the hit of the night was. Uh, of course, uh, if you're watching the replay as well, you can vote in the poll at the top of the video. You can also find us, uh, besides crackandwax.com, you can find us on other social media sites, such as Twitter at crackandwax and facebook.com slash crackandwax. Uh, what's up, everybody? What's cracking? I am Christopher, your break host and resident wax cracker. Off to my left over here, back again to sort another bunch of cards. It's LQ. Hey, LQ. You probably didn't hear that, but she did say hi. Uh, I see we've got Ginter is here in the YouTube chat room. I see we've got significantly fewer people watching, but hopefully people will join in. Uh, we are still doing our breaker battle. And uh, even though it says Kraken Wax is the champion, it's actually Zegras is the reigning champion right now. If you want to knock him off his throne and potentially win a prize, he's getting a prize right now, but you can steal this prize. Uh, all you've got to do is uh, just uh, follow our link that's in the description in YouTube or the link that I just sent to the chat room. And uh, one dollar equals 100 hit points damage and a subscription to our YouTube channel equals 50 hit points. So are you going to be the champion and win a prize? Or is Zegris? Uh, top prize tonight, depending on which level we get to, or currently on level two, we'll get a free box of 2019 Tops Heritage. Uh, you see over here in the corner, uh, if you missed it earlier, we pulled out of the first case that we did a Mike Trout Shohei Otani dual auto relic 10 of 10 that goes to Dame Debbie. Uh, being that this is a random team though, we don't know who gets these teams just yet. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna randomize our teams and our wax crackers. I've got my nice uh, Minnesota Twins mug. I got that from your dad, didn't I? Oh, from your grandma. All right. I've got three die in here. Dice? Whatever. <laughs> we are gonna randomize. Whoa! 13 times. Lucky 13. Oh, I'm getting the, the, the stank eye from, from LQ. <laughs> Turn a few things off here just to make things a little bit easier to work around. All right, let's grab our teams first of all. We'll do that 13 times. Put it into random.org. One, two, and three, and now I'm going to stop counting and just, just keep going until we hit number 13. And that'll be the order in which the teams will be decided. Eleven. Yep. Twelve. And 13. You said that all sexy. 13. All right, now we're gonna decide how many times to randomize. She wants me to roll triple snake eyes. Nope, a little better though, six. Can't see that there, six. Take our wax crackers. Three, four, five, and six. Drop that in there. Get rid of this 
hanging row. And now, team assignments for our 2019 Heritage Half Case random team is as follows. Canto, that's Brandon. You've got the Padres. Dame Debbie with the White Sox, Cubs, and Mariners. Daniel B, you've got the Brewers. Deb P's got a big chunk with the Rockies, Red Sox, Reds, Twins, Angels, D-backs, Pirates, Braves, Rays, Marlins, Blue Jays, Cardinals, Indians, Royals, Phillies, Astros, and Giants. Jason Ginter, you've got the Tigers and Yankees. Scott P with the A's. TM Mill with the Orioles. Vilma J with the Dodgers and Rangers. Waxtopia with the Nats. And Zegris with the net, uh, the Mets. And I'm just going to take a look and see how many people we've got in the chat room here. Not many. So uh, I think if we would have had quite a few more, we'd give you a little bit more time. But we'll give you two minutes. So uh, before we start the uh, trading window, uh, I was authorized by Deb P, since she's not here right now, to trade any of her spots unless she had the Reds. So who currently has the Reds? So Deb P does have the Reds. All right, so she will not trade the Reds. She would trade anything else. So if you want to trade any of her teams, trade with me. All right, it is 5.07 our time. We will give you until 5.09 our time to make any trades that you might want to make. And go! Now, I'm just going to guess that we're not going to have any trades because we really don't have anybody here watching. Uh, we've got me. We've got... We had Ginter. I don't know if he's still here. And it looks like two other people. So this is... Uh, nah, I, I think I think people saw that we pulled the big, the big card out of the last case and probably aren't going to stick around. Don't know what they're they don't. I mean... I'm butter on the second case. <laughs> Yeah, I really didn't think there were going to be any trades. And that's unfortunate that we don't have more people in here. This is actually the lowest amount of viewers we've ever had. Many. Only four, and that one of them is me. Yeah. Well, hopefully uh, some of them will watch the replay, so. Yeah, I don't know, this th this has been interesting with Heritage. I just, it at least as far as Crack and Wax is concerned, I see a lot of other people having, you know, success selling spots and have people watch uh, their breaks, but it took us until last night to finally fill both of these uh, breaks and just nobody's here watching this i don't know if it's us or if it's heritage but it's just weird so all right it is now 509 our time uh jason ginter just finally said he's here too bad because trades are closed hi jason <laughs> lq says hi jason all right so i'm going to make the team board and I'll have that up in just a moment. Who was the picture or the person in the picture with him with the purple hair? You got to narrow that down a little bit more. Jason posted a picture of somebody he was with that had purple hair. Uh, a woman. Oh, Sasha Banks. Oh, who is that? A wrestler. Oh, okay. Somehow related to Snoop Dogg. Really? Yeah. I like Snoop Dogg. But uh, LQ gets very judgy when it comes to, to wrestlers. No, I have one wrestler. <laughs> the Kool-Aid girl. I, I know, I know All right, team board is up. All right, those are the team assignments. And, of course, we'll pop that back up anytime we pull a hit or something of interest. Still looking for uh, some, maybe a Super Fractor tonight. Maybe we will pull a throwback variation. Have no idea. Uh, Jason says, hi, LQ. 
And Justin, the Lions fan, says, we're back now. Hello. All right. Take down the teams, take down the chat room, and let's crack that wax. Six boxes in front of me. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, since we did fill this half case, uh, one of the spot owners is going to get one of these uh, uh, autographed baseballs for free. So at the end of the break, we'll random off one of these baseballs. And uh, still up for grabs, as I mentioned. Break the battle, get in there. Zegris, current champion. So LQ called that hit at the last break. What are you, what are you calling this time, LQ? What are we pulling this time? Superfractor. Okay, she's calling a superfractor. Speaking of super, it's a super baseball box loader. And it's Shohei Otani. So we got one of those out of the last case. The random teams are fun because uh, I'm usually expecting certain people to have certain teams. And uh, Dame Debbie got one of her normal teams and Deb P got one of her normal teams. But outside of that, it's going to be interesting for me to see if I can remember who got what without having to look at the team board. We'll just pick that guy back up, Josh Donaldson. Uh, baseball flashbacks, tireless. Gibby goes the distance. And of course, if uh, we miss any short prints or variations and you happen to see them, please let us know. We'll get them back up on screen so we can show them off. He wants me to pull the same card. Well, it's a 10 of 10. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Maybe the 9 of 10. That would be fun. There is a New Age Performers of Chris Davis. And just just for the fun of it, we're, we're going to put this guy a little closer to the screen. Just, just you know, for posterity. Something fun to look at. Scratch off. Ooh, that is a damaged scratch off. I am very sorry to the person that has the Mariners. Robinson Cano. Yipes. It's one of the more damaged cards I've ever seen come out of the pack. Mariners is Dame Debbie. I am so sorry. Yipes. And Lions fan, I think I just cut the roof of my mouth on a Triscuit. Mm. Oh, that bite. I feel like I just... I think that card got... I think I, that card got cut with a Triscuit. Mm. So is that the same when, like, a guy watches another guy get kicked in the junk? You, you feel that pain? I... Yeah, I have Triscuit empathy. Triscuit empathy. <laughs> Baseball flashbacks, Tom, was never more terrific. So I'm hearing reports of some cases of Heritage not having any of the base short prints, 401 through 500. Our last case uh, did have, and I remembered seeing cards in the upper range. Uh, we had our base short prints. We uh, didn't have those missing. I did see Houdini actually tweet that out a little bit ago that he was missing his base short prints out of his case, or one of his cases anyway. Not sure there's much that can be done about that, though, unfortunately. I wonder if there... I, no. I was wondering what you were doing over there. She hasn't sorted any cards yet. She's <laughs> over there tweeting. What were you... Oh, because you want to defend your knowledge of wrestling. You know how outdated that picture is now? Yeah, so we've got uh, card number 44. So we definitely have our base short prints out of this case. So no problems with this case. And I think we've got, no, we don't. That, that's been green the whole time. Okay, never mind. Uh, Aaron Judge, New Age Performers.
Got a Chrome. Miguel Andujar. 541 of 999. These flashbacks, huge crowd. You show off. <laughs> She's caught up already. <laughs> Basically. Oh, oh, gosh. Never mind. I'll show you. Will you? I'm feeling like we're coming up on a hit. And we did. We got a Jack Balchin. For the Padres. Nice old school legends auto. Let's see who has the Padres in this random team half case break. Padres going to Canto. Whoa. Congrats, Brandon. We didn't pull any Legends autos out of the last case, so that's very nice. It's very rare that I actually call a hit, too, <laughs> out of a pack. So, so I got that going for me, so, so that's nice. You didn't call it coming out of a pack. You called what the hit was. Actually, no, because a lot of times, I think we could do a whole loop of you going, I think we've got a hit here. Oh, no, we don't. That's why I just said I don't often call hits out of packs. Lions fan says he has a gorgeous autograph. Well, you know what? He's an old school player and, you know, autographs were a lot better back in the day. And I'm sure that still carries on for a lot of those older players. Um, in the theory being, number one, is that they didn't sign as much back then. But the big, the big leading theory is that cursive was more uh, prevalent back then than, than it is now. Uh, New Age performers, Max Scherzer. I mean, students just aren't taught handwriting the same way that the, they were back then, so. Unless you've got an older player in your, you know, within your system that still kind of hangs around like uh, Harmon Killebrew did for the Twins, helping the uh, young kids perfect their autograph. There's Walker Bueller, New Age performers. I mean, look, I mean, even the, the Mike Trout autograph has gotten a lot more abbreviated. It's basically an M and a stylized T. Box number one. Yeah, Justin said it. Yeah, so rare that I didn't call the redemption earlier. Hey, <laughs> I said that was my fault. I still think we're going to get a, a red ink. We may not get a, a super fractor, but I still think, I still think we're going to get a red ink auto. Buyback box loader. 
clockwise, so I'm going to put that there for a second. Do -do 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 -do. Box loader is Rico Cardi Braves. Interesting how the camera picked up on the moray pattern there. See that? Huh. Maybe it's just my screen. Weird. Thanks again to Blowout Cards for the nice discount that we always get when we buy cases for them, uh, from them. Card junk like that, Rico. You almost caught up now, LQ? No. <laughs> Scratch off of... Justin Smoke, there's a little damage on the same spot. Not as bad as the last one. And I wonder what the heck happened. Hmm. That is too bad. No bueno. New Age performer of Trevor's story. New Age performer of JD Martinez. Black parallel of Kirby Yates. Padres. Definitely not missing the base short prints. Be interesting to see if we got short at any of the variations, though. New Age Performer is Glaber Taurus. I know we had some action variations at the very least out of the last case. Not sure if we saw all of them. Justin Upton. I don't recognize that card here that I don't remember seeing that card. I believe that is a, just a short print. Okay, it's just the base short print.
Oh, uh, ding on the top of that one. See how it's kind of bent at the top? Baseball flashbacks, hot corner hijinks, mirror at the prize. Uh, not, now you're catching up. She's almost, almost there. Any action on that tweet? <laughs> I think everyone's seen it before. No, I'm sure I've tweeted it out since. Another Chance Adams autograph. So we pulled one out of the last case. We've got one out of this case. Going to the Yankees. This time around, the Yankees are going to... Jason Ginter. Little chat room mojo for Mr. Ginter. I don't think he had the Yankees in the last case. I believe that was Mr. Josh Williams that had the Yankees in the last case. So congratulations on your rookie auto of Chance Adams, sir. back-to-back -back boxes with autographs that might be all the autos we get out of that uh, entire case so the rest of them might just be relic cards we will see Hey, Canto's here. Well, Canto might want to see what we pulled for him. Jose Ramirez, New Age uh, Performers. After we get through these couple of packs. We'll show off what we pulled for Canto. You did get Padres. I hope that's okay. Because with that Padres spot, you got this guy out of the first box. That's all yours, Kanto. All right, box number three. Looks like Zegris is probably going to survive as tonight's Crack and Wax Breaker Battle Champion, unless someone wants to dethrone him. Super Baseball box loader. Johnny Bench. So now that we've got some people in the room, what else are we looking for? What else are we gonna pull out of these remaining boxes? We've got that Padres autograph. 
We've got a Chance Adams autograph that we pulled. I'm thinking we got four base relics we're going to pull for hits, but there's a Christian Yelich New Age Performers. We could end up with some something pretty cool in as far as Chrome cards go, or possibly a variation of some sort. There is one of our base relics. This is a Buster Posey Clubhouse Collection. Jersey Relic going to the Giants. And the Giants go to Dead P. Congrats, Dead P. Three base relics to go is going to be my guess. Now, I still, like I said, would love to see uh, a red ink auto out of this. Scratch off of Anthony Rizzo. This one looks fine. The other two did not look that great. Well, come on now. Well, as much as I love destroying the rappers, try not to destroy the rappers as I'm running a break. Come on now. Blake Snell, new age performer. You look all tough with your fancy rubber straw over there. What, what are you drinking right now? Diet Coke and Vodka. I forgot to get my porter. I was uh, talking that up in the last break. I forgot to grab one. Have you ever gone? No, LQ, one of her favorite drinks is Diet Coke from the fountain at McDonald's. Have you ever brought one of those home and added vodka to it? I think, I think that's on your bucket list. <laughs> All right, well, what would you add to it? Then? Yeah. It's there, so I drank it. I'm sorry for my opinions. Yeah. Yeah. So, Captain and McDonald's Diet Coke. Now, how are we going to market that? Captain and McDonald's Diet Coke. Just like that. Captain Mac. Nice. Well, Diet Man. People need to know it's the Diet Coke. Man. How about Mick, Captain and Coke? <laughs> Mick, Captain and Diet. So we've got a team name variation, and I have no idea what made me think that was a variation. There's nothing on here that made me think variation other than to look. But there we go. Team name variation of Glaber Taurus. Harder to pull, but not the hardest to pull. This goes to the Yankees. Yankees going to Jason Ginter. You got one of our harder to pull variations that we found. Can't believe I even thought to look. But there you go. Congrats. I'm going to, just because I know it's there, I'm just going to put it up there and we'll penny sleeve that one.
Kanto wants to know if, uh, if we like Sprite from a fountain. That's another flavor, too, that's different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll put that over there. Justin Verlander. Very so you prefer the Sprite fountain over the, like, bottled or canned? Yep. Just like you say, your preference is for what you want to can. Yeah, that's probably just how I grew up on it. That's... That was sort of your meal. Yeah, it was my breakfast, it was my lunch. It's my midnight snack. It's... No wonder I had 30 cavities. Hey, you married that, so... Says a lot about you, too. Uh, Astros rookie stars Chrome, Kyle Tucker, Cionel Perez, numbered 446 of Canto says all citrus sodas are best flat. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. So why not just drink orange juice? Huh? Well, if he's going to have a flat citrus soda, he might as well just drink orange juice. Mm. LQ just has to disagree with me no matter what I say. I just <laughs> no. <laughs> See, she just said no. No, I don't, right? <laughs> Shh, I'm sorting. All right, that was the last pack of box number three. We are halfway done. And uh, I need a beer. I'm going to stand up for a second go get myself a beer. You all chat amongst yourself. I'm just going to that kitchen back there where that nice refrigerator is behind these three boxes of 2019 Onyx Authenticated Autographed Baseballs. One of them is going to one of you spot holders that are in this break. So stay tuned for that. So, my beer of the night. My beer of the night is a local beer, Summit Great Northern Porter. I've never had it before. I was actually looking for uh, something else, but, uh, you know, a nice chocolatey, nutty beer. Something chewy. Just kind of sounded good. So, cheers. Oh. Oh. I like that. I'm not usually a big fan of Summit, but I like this. Cheers. All right, let's crack some more wax. Oh, he's not in the room right now. It's just, it's just, it's just all Canto. It's just all Canto. It's just Canto's the only one talking. I don't know what on earth you're talking about. You play Disney play? Yeah, but what are you talking about? <laughs> I just keep using some words. Use different ones. <laughs> Box loader is. <sighs> That's not a word. Yes, it is. It's an overreaction. No, that's my gut reaction. 
Nice. Rick Allen is your original buyback. Ah, I thought so. I was going to say, he looks like he's in a Phillies uniform with the P airbrushed out, and I was right. So, very cool. Well, ish. Cool ish. <laughs> I'm just ish. You're full of ish. You smell like ish. Ish. <laughs> All right, no one's calling the the next hits. So LQ, you get the call. You said super fracture. Upside down cards to start the pack. Kind of unusual. Doesn't usually mean anything. I wonder if one of these boxes will be the purple chrome hot box, though. Hey, we've got our first mini. We haven't pulled one of those yet. Paul DeYoung, Cardinals, numbered 49 of 100. Nice. Cardinals are going to Deb P. Congrats, Deb. You bored? You want to start collating the other case? No. <laughs> what do I do? Just stick it in there? Yes, you just stick it in there, honey. Card Junk says Dick Allen better than Rico. All right, we're going to start with two upside down cards again. Well, I don't think we will, but we might have something now that that gave it away. Mitch Hanniger, New Age Performers. I think that might have been, yeah, just a, a red herring. Need some good vibes here, people. Oh, it was a fluke. All right. Scratch. A Paul Goldschmidt. That's in... Ah, there's a little ding up top there, too. Damn it. Boy, these scratch-off cards are very prone to damage. Definitely in this case. gonna stop calling it because every pack is like that black parallel of Brock Holt the Doyle rules why do you pretend to be so exasperated Nothing. <laughs> don't worry about it. Or as Fiji would say, don't worry about it. I'd get a lot of people unsubscribing if I <laughs> talk like the cats during the entire break. I can't be the only person, um, can't be the only sane person. Let's read or, uh, start that over. Can't be the only sane person in the world that gives their pets voices. Jacob deGrom, rage performer, and in fact, also has conversations basically with themselves. <laughs> right? Yeah. Canto yelled Steve Holt back. Yeah! Carlton wins Battle of Zeros. Come on now. Oh, gosh. Let's go. 
There we go. And our next base relic, Clubhouse Collection relic, is of Kyle Schwarber. Chicago Cubs going to Dame Debbie. Congrats, Deb. more chances for a red ink auto maybe a surprise somewhere else in here new age performers francisco lindor card junk's just here for the buyback cards right <laughs> hey a pack with uh, cards that didn't start out backwards or upside down nice how much did the non-baseball what now Alan, get your spot. Go for last year. Oh my gosh. Uh, th three something, I think. It was up there. Why is he starting to save money? He might want to, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're probably going to start collecting our charity prize pack donations uh, pretty soon here. i got to start planning for... I know that's a few months off, but the sooner the better. I've already talked with a few people on uh, helping out. And that entire spot was donated to charity, so... New Age Performers of Mookie Betts, so that was great. We usually auction that one off, or uh, we don't auction it anymore. Now, uh, so I'm not going to step foot into eBay to do that anymore. Why is that, Chris? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> three cards were upside down this time. Oh, my gosh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So three. Yeah, all right. Well, that's the end of that box. Two more to go. I got to take a sip of my beer. I like beer. My lift out. weights. I work out. I'm gonna put it on my calendar. Work out. I like beer. And then I drink beer. <laughs> While I was lifting weights. I like beer. Supreme Court rules. <laughs> and see. Yeah, that, it's enough politics for one night. Let's move along. <laughs> So uh, Canto says, yeah, I'm budgeting for breaks the next few months. No longer chasing the Harper autos. Why not? It's still Harper. He needs some time. Just because his uniform changes. He needs some time. All right. All right. He's, in, uh, he's in denial, I think. All right, card junk, here we go. Here's the buyback box loader. Dave Roberts for the Padres. There you go, dear. No, no, I didn't. Did not. Matthew S. says, y'all are nuts. And Canto says, beep, beep, political commentary alert. <laughs> what did he say? Beep, beep, political commentary alert. No, we're done now. We're done now. Now we're, we're moving on to teaching LQ about 
Dungeons and Dragons, and this is and not even joking. She's literally, literally curious. That's my new name. Literally curious. I like. Q. Yeah. <laughs> literally curious. <laughs> Q-weary. No, I just I am. I don't I don't get how it works. She's not into RPGs. No, I don't know. It's not that I, I just don't understand how it works. And I'm pretty sure if I Google it. Well, I've got a few people that might be willing to teach you the basics. That's why I'm asking the room where I think somebody is located. Yet no one can figure out how to play my game. That's okay. <laughs> uh, does the buyback have that classic shoebox smell? I'm well I'm <laughs> Just because I smelled cards during Series 1 doesn't I'll mean... smell it. Where is it? You already put it away. It's Padres. This one? Yep. Now, don't end up with a rash on your nose, okay? I don't smell a difference between the regular and the... It's been descented? Okay. Yeah. Ronald Acuna Jr., yeah, New Age Performers? Fresh. Oh, fresh out of the out of the pack. Okay. Yeah. At first, it thought it smelled musty, and then the other one though, it also smells musty. So. Might be just that heritage smell. Yeah. Little ding on top of Ronald Guzman. It's that heritage smell. Scratch off of Cindergard, in decent shape. It's collaborative storytelling. With, with rolling dice. That's interesting. Well, who decides who gets to be the master? Like, is it, like the dungeon master or the magic master or whatever? Depends on which game you're playing, I would assume. I'm just curious, like, how do you know you're done? So how do you even start? You're never done. Oh. What's the point? No, I knocked over Debbie's card. Good thing I put it in a mag case. Jeez. My goodness. Like Trout, New Age Performers. And our base relic this time is of Clayton Kershaw, Clubhouse Collection. Clayton Kershaw, Clubhouse Collection relic. Going to the Dodgers, going to Vilma J. Vilma. Vilma scoring the Dodgers, got herself a Clayton Kershaw relic. Congratulations, Vilma. Nice, uh mix of spot owners getting hits. New Age Performer, Ozzy Albies. So I'm gonna guess that last box is gonna have, gonna have our last base relic. Oh, we got an answer. I got to read. Okay. I'm ready. Let me pull it up on the screen here so everyone else can read along. Okay, so he says, The Dungeon Master is playing what would be the computer in a video game RPG. Okay. They control the non-player characters and the storyline. But her question is, how do you become the master? Correct? Yes. That's your question. All right. Do you self-appoint yourself? Do you, do you, you have, have to... Remote? Do you have to buy into it? Do you have to pay to be? No, I mean, like, if you're in a group of friends, like, say there were five of us here, do you just support somebody, or do you have to do something in order to be given that title? Because I would imagine that's, I don't know, the, fun, the funnest position. Is to be the, the dungeon master? Yeah. 
And I wonder, like, is it for people that did it before the internet type of thing? If it wasn't online RPG, like, do people have preference for, you know, being in a room and, you know, really or, rolling the die? And, or in public. Uh, we have a trained man, Cine Chrome, 404 of 999 for the Orioles. What are your hobbies, LQ, besides sorting cards for crack and wax? I like watching and reading satire. I also like cleaning things, and I like Aaron Noah, a new age performer. Can't imagine why. Oh, and I love eating. Well, we're we're going to do that. That's on my my agenda every time I turn the team boards on. It shows what we're. So Canto has another answer. Okay. Thank you, Canto, for being our dialogue master. Dialogue master. Oh, it's just decided ahead of time. Typically, the person with the Dungeon Master's Guide Handbook. Well, what if everyone has one? <laughs> Let's keep asking. What do we do now? I totally feel like he's doing that. <gasps> you guys, it's not that hard. Yeah, well. well Let me take the team board down. Why did I turn that on? Here we go. I meant, I meant to turn that on. But you haven't even started collating yet. No, but I'm not going to do that tonight. Oh. oh. She's, she's too important for Krakomax. All right, we got another answer. Kanto's the man over here answering all of LQ's questions. Thank you, by the way. Thank think, you. think of the Dungeon Master as the person hosting a party. They set up everything for everybody to play. So who decides well, wait, can I is going to be the person hosting the party? I'm kidding. Well, LQ, I'm sure it's just like planning another party. Any other party in the world. No, no, I'm not looking to be a dungeon master. I'm just looking to maybe, maybe give it a whirl. So I, I'm guessing you'd be like, hey, friend number one, can we play Dungeons and Dragons? Are disqualified. <laughs> Not quite. All right, we've got one box left, and no, this is our final box and your final chance to take over. As Breaker Battle Champion, Zegris has hung on for hours and hours and hours. He uh, de right. defeated me in level one. He is the level two champion. And let's make it easy. How much would somebody have to tip or do to defeat him and get a We just need 2,000 hit points to be taken away. So is that 20 bucks? Every dollar you tip is equivalent to 100 hit points. Every time you subscribe to our YouTube channel, that is equal to 50 hit points. So to defeat D uh, Zegris, we need some combination of tips and uh, subscriptions that equals 2,000 hit points. And whoever is the person that uh, puts Zegris over the edge, they take over as Breaker Battle Champion, and they will win a prize. Right now, Zegris's prize is a free box break entry ticket. Uh, level 3 is the same. However, if we get to level 4, that prize is a guaranteed spot in our free box break by me oh yeah so it's a guaranteed paid I it's thought it was a just guaranteed like spot guaranteed to get your team I didn't know it was it's a guaranteed that. full spot yeah okay. all right but you gotta you gotta you gotta play to win and here's our final box and final opportunity 
And after we uh, do this box, we're going to decide which of the spot owners from this break is going to get one of these autographed baseballs. And I'm going to send that link out. No, I'm not. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, I'm going to send that link out now. If you want a tip and try to defeat Zegras as Bricker Battle Champion, there's the link for you. All right, our final Super Baseball box loader of the night is Juan Soto. Very nice. Oh, I know. It's a uh, kind of mimics the original set. 1970. Kanto is happy with his Juan Soto box topper, but I don't think it's his. I don't think he got the Nats. Who got the Nats? Yeah, the Nats are going to Waxtopia. He's still happy about it, yeah, yeah. S happy for John. Yeah. Does he? The H Performer, Alex Bregman. Scratch off of Jose Altuve. All right, there's our final hit, and it is not a base jersey. It's a bat. Ooh. Albert Pujols. Cool. Our first bat piece of the night. Going to the Angels. Angels going to Deb P. Hey, yo, Deb. Deb P getting a couple hits tonight out of this half case. Congratulations, Deb P. Okay, so Canto says, uh, tweeted at LQ a video explaining D&D. &D. Oh, thank you. I watch it. I don't remember any. Well, that's not necessarily my favorite. That's just like the one I can remember. Miguel Andujar, New Age Performers. Is that another one?
Did they George Lucas this episode? Is that what you're saying? Yes. They removed the animate, stupid animation. That's not George Lucas thing. Oh. Adding, ex- added. adding extra stupid animation. My bad. Removing would be unprecedented. I don't think anyone's ever done that. You might want to think about that and say that again. <laughs> Luke George's thing. So you laugh now that you hear it coming out of my mouth. seen too many crones coming out of these boxes which is kind of a surprise yeah but there might be a couple more than that new age performer nolan arnado not seeing as many variations as as i assumed we would maybe we have and i just didn't notice it could be hiding away in there did see that team variation We're winding down to the last few packs, and this is going to be it for the night. And we do still have six more boxes of Heritage to go through at some point. So if uh, if you want us to break some more Heritage, give us a thumbs up in the YouTube page. Oh, there's a there's a Chrome card, speak of the devil. And it is Trevor Story. It's a refractor. And it is numbered 324 of 570. So yeah, if you'd like us to break some more, and we don't have to do it tonight, but eventually break some more 2019 Tops Heritage, please give us a thumbs up in the YouTube watch room or live break room or uh, replay video. The penultimate pack. Too much there. Final pack. All right, that does it for 2019 Tops Heritage for the day. Uh, not a terrible case. Nothing mind blowing. It's going to be hard to live up to something like that. But uh, here's a hit recap. We've got that uh, Albert Pujols. Let me bring back the teams here. Uh, for the Angels, for Deb P. Clayton Kershaw, Dodgers. Going to Vilma. Schwarber, for the Cubs. Going to Dame Debbie. Glaber Torres is a team name variation for the Yankees. Mr. Ginter. Buster Posey, Relic. Giants, going to Deb P. Then we've got the Jack Baldwin, Padres Legends Auto. For Canto and the Chance Adams. Rookie Otto. For the Yankees, Mr. Ginter. All right, well, now it's time to see who's going to win one of these baseballs. I'm going to move Trout and Shohei to the back. And we're going to give you a few more minutes to think about whether or not you want to donate 20 bucks, 10 bucks, 5 bucks, $1, and try to beat Zegras, or else he will end the night as new and reigning Crack and Wax Breaker Battle Champion. Now we're going to decide first of all which one of these balls will be given away. It's going to be one, two, or three. One, two, or three. And I'm actually going to load that up real quick. One, two, and three. All right. Bring this back. Okay. Take the dice. We will randomize.
11 times. Randomizing 11 times, and the top number on the 11th time will be the box that will be awarded. So one, two, or three. Nope. One, two, ten, and eleven. So it's going to be box number two. Box number two. So remember, one, two, three. So number two is the one we will be giving away. Now it's time to find out who is going to get that ball. We'll see. We'll see. We're going to randomize 10 times. Ooh, Kanto, what did you just do? Kanto donated 20 bucks, and he is now the current Crack and Wax Breaker Battle Champion. He is at level three, so that... That is a free box break entry ticket. Nice. So if someone decides they want to move on to level four, that's a total of 3,000 hit points. Level four would mean that you would end up getting a guaranteed spot in the next free box break. Guaranteed. That means it's free. That means you don't pay a thing. That means it is your spot. If he is still champion at the end. So if he's still champion at the end, he gets the ticket. But if someone dethrones, they get the, the prize of the night. And it will be the level four prize instead of the level three prize. All right. So what did I say? 679, 10. All right. So 10 is the number that we're going to be randomizing. Yes, thank you, Kanto. Thank you very much. All right, we're going to put our screen view on so we can see what we're doing here. So 10 times, and the name at the top will be the person that wins the autographed baseball. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, person at the top of the list will win this ball, and I, I paid seventy dollars for each one of these. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. So, this so. is this is worth something. This is worth something. Are you ready? I'm ready to find out who wins this ball. Yes. Number ten is Dame Debbie. Whoa, it's her day! Holy gee! Dame Debbie, living her best life. Congratulations, Debbie. And you know what? She doesn't have much say in the matter here, so I think I think we're gonna open it for her. Yes, we're we're gonna open it for her. All right, Debbie. I don't know if you're watching or not. And uh, again, if if Chase is still watching, happy birthday, buddy. Happy birthday, Chase. See if there's any identifying information on here. Nope, just that. Bring up the chat room here. What did Debbie just win? Hello, Morno for MVP. I like, really, really like that name. Nice. All right, we've got our certificate of authenticity. Very nice. So I'm not gonna, not gonna spoil anything here. <clears throat> but Kanto, you're gonna like this. I know you're gonna like this. Here we go. Who do you think it is? It could be anybody. Who do you think it is? It's a Padre. You think it's a Padre? Yeah. Okay. It's a Major League Baseball. Beckett authenticated, Onyx authenticated. On the sweet spot. Juan Soto, Whoa. autographed baseball. Congrats, Dame Debbie. Wow. Wow, Mike Trout, Shohei Otani, and Juan Soto all in one day for Dame Debbie? She's a lucky lady. 
Oh my gosh. Is there anything else in this box? Nope. Make sure everyone can see that. Congrats, Dame Debbie. Yeah, it is. Well, we're just going to put that back in the, the sash here. I don't want to screw up the autograph. Ooh. All right. Well, that does it for tonight. Folks, if you are watching on t on YouTube, uh, again, please thumbs up, share this video, subscribe. Uh, please comment below. Let us know what you thought the hit of the night was. Maybe it was that baseball we just pulled. Maybe it was the Mike Trout Shohei Otani dual auto relic 10 of 10. I don't know. You decide. Let us know down there. And of course, vote in the poll at the top of the video. Let us know what you thought of this uh, break. And uh, anything else you want to say, LQ? Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. And thanks, Cantle, for popping that donation in. That's awesome. Uh, awesome of you. Yeah. So Kanto wins tonight. He is the Breaker Battle Champion. You get a free box break entry ticket. Thank you for your donation. Thank you so much. That's great. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much. Uh, we, if, if we get enough thumbs up on this video, we'll load some more Heritage. We do have Don Russ coming eventually as soon as we see a checklist and uh, other fun stuff coming your way as well. And uh, thanks again to LQ, as always, for your sorting expertise. She's a sorting genius. And uh, she's done sorting she's done a great job all right everybody thank you so much everybody have a great night and as always keep cracking that wax good night everybody <laughs> <laughs>